I wanted to take a minute and talk about what ensued when taking out the draft spring. There wasn't a whole lot of good information, only a couple videos, so I kind of studied up. I didn't film taking it out because I figured this was going to be frustrating and might be aggravating. So I uh, started working at it. It was, everything was rusted, seized up tight. The basic gist of it is this side Allen screw's got to come out. Then the lock ring, which is this piece here, this piece needs to unthread. Uh, in theory, you're supposed to be able to take a flathead screwdriver through this hole and loosen the connecting bolt inside. Well, that was totally frozen solid. There was no getting that out. So what ended up happening after fiddling with it for about an hour, I took the set screw loose. I took a punch and carefully worked the interlocking ring out. I removed the unit as you see here. So it was still connected to the inner rod, which goes through the center, the shiny piece there. What I did then was I brought it inside, clamped it in the vise, and took the nuclear method with the porta band and what I did was in between the, the springs I was able to fish that in there and just sever this bolt right in half so then that released the spring so then once the spring is removed you'll have this piece still sticking out put a two foot pipe wrench on here and worked it out so I got this piece out the replacement part that I had to destroy in the process was only $16, so it was no big deal. Uh, now, I've got it all reassembled, and I'm going to put it back in and try to set the tension right on the spring. I've watched a couple videos. It seems you want to actually pull the connecting rod back out, put the spring in first, get this collar locked up, snug on the spring, then use your screwdriver to tighten the center bolt here. So we'll see what we can do with it. So I believe you tighten this center bolt until there's no more play in this. I'm gonna lock the set screw on this side because that inner collar was turning a little bit.
right as you can see through that castle cut in the top of the bolt I have the cotter pin I hammered down the top and bent up the bottom legs of it to hold it in there set screw on the side is locked last thing to do is going to be squeeze this dust boot over into that groove and in the groove there followed by bolting this back up and then I think we'll be back back together and dry Okay, just an overview recap if you have to do this job yourself first thing take that set screw out second remove these two uh, allen headed bolts if you can you take that cotter pin out and then attempt to loosen that screw in through that hole if it's seized pull the boot back unscrew the collar take the whole unit out cut the bolt take it off with a pipe wrench order yourself a new bolt $16 just get one and then uh, make sure you use plenty of any seeds when you're going back together this job would apply to you know if you just need to take adjustment and uh, it doesn't work or in my case the dust boot and to keep the water out that was completely gone so that was the whole reason for, for this job if you tackle this wish you the best of luck Thank you.